Hey, what's up? We got a quick tip from a reader today. Kevin, shout out. Thank you for the question. Uh, Kevin is one of my newsletter subscribers, and he asked how to get the last row in a Google Sheet automatically. So he knows, as I'm sure a lot of you know, that if you just hold control and press the down and also the other arrows, you can go quickly up and down to the next empty uh, cell. However, this breaks down if you've got like empty cells down here in, in column A. I'll delete a few of those. Then I've got a control down, control down, control down, and then keep doing it several times. So if, if we got data missing, that's just one of a few ways that this isn't the best fix. Also, if you want this to happen automatically and you don't want to fool with manually doing stuff for whatever reason your use case needs you to start at the bottom, let's walk through how to do that in AppScript. AppScript is programming, but don't be intimidated because you really only need two of the four lines of code that I'm about to go over. I'm going to give you two more lines just as an alternative way to do it. So the first thing we do, uh, when you open up AppScript, I, I got ahead of myself, you go to extensions, AppScript if, uh, from the Google Sheet, if you've never done that before. But the first thing that you need to do is uh, change the word up here from function to on open. So it's going to say function, my function, or something generic like that. We want to change it so it says function on open. This is going to make whatever we write in the function happen as soon as the spreadsheet loads. So it's a special built-in function. Then we want to define the sheet itself. So I'm going to say let sheet equal, and then we got built-in methods over here. Spreadsheet app dot get active. That gets the whole spreadsheet or the workbook itself. So if you got like 50 tabs down at the bottom, 50 sheets, that's going to grab all of them. Well, we just want the active sheet for right now. And we're, I'll discuss how we get a specific sheet in just a moment. So we get that sheet. If we wanted it to be a specific sheet, so if you've got several different sheets down here and you've got one that you want to open and activate and go to the bottom, then you would get that sheet by name and type in the name here. You can see that my sheet, I've only got two. I've got this title sheet and then I've got a demo sheet. So I'll put the demo sheet in here and we'll show you how this works in a minute. Uh, after that, then we need to do something. And this is all that we need. So I'm going to comment this line out because this will do everything we need it to do. Sheet range. So I want to get the range like A1, A2, A45. Then I'm going to say sheet dot get last row. This is literally a built in method that gets the last row with data in it. And I'm going to add one to it because my last row was that 618, I think. Yeah, 618. And so I want 619 because I want to activate the next one. So I'm going to get the range and the range is two things. It's the row and then the column. So I'm going to set the column as the first column, which is a. Then I'm going to activate it. Activate is a built-in method that just puts the cursor down there. And here's the alternate way that we'll run through in just a sec if we're using the get sheet by name. But if we're just using the regular old get active, I'm going to click run and actually make sure I'm up here at the top. I'm going to click run, go back over here, not pressing anything, and it's going to go down to the bottom. Okay. It took a moment to run the code there and when I manually uh, started it but it did everything like it was supposed to. Let's comment that out. Let's comment that out and we'll swap it for get sheet by name. So now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to change. So I'm on a different sheet. I'm on this title sheet. And then I'm going to come back in here, save this, click run, not pressing anything. It actually ran quicker that time and went over to the demo sheet down to 619. So these are uh, literally two lines. You can pick whichever version. Probably the get sheet by name is going to be the better version to use now that I think about it, because you're going to specify which of these sheets you want this to run on. As long as you wrap it in this on open function, it's going to happen as soon as you open your spreadsheet. I hope that's helpful for all of you. Thank you, Kevin, again for the question. And if you are not on my newsletter, it is a free weekly newsletter where I go through project-based tutorials like this so that you can get more productive and better at automating things by using spreadsheets. Sign up below for free. Hope you have a great one. Talk to you later.